Welcome to a morning of wind and sleet in Sussex. Very strange weather. Now the sun's out and we've got a Devard Lepilar. We don't get many of these and they're a very attractive tent. It's 3.4 metres wide, so about halfway between a Zilver Mew and an Albatross in width, but four and a half metres long with two and a half metres long in the sleeping area, so good for tall people. This is a sort of late 90s, about a 98 tent. Got the usual divider and they're all very similar to the Albatross, actually nice curved at the back. Storage for phones and glasses, half moon vents. Two and a half metres tall, like an Albatross, two and a half metres tall at the mast. 1.9 at the entrance. There's a little tear in the roof here just behind the entrance. It's about four centimetres long. The material's all there. Sometimes we sew them, but I think we'll put a double patch on that. We'll patch it either side so it's absolutely good. We have the optional mosquito door in here. This can be zipped down in place of this left-hand door on hot nights to provide extra ventilation whilst keeping creepy crawlies out. And we've got a couple of wings, big wire wings on here. These don't zip on, so one should note. I haven't done these very well. I think this front valence on the tent needs to be outwards a bit more than there wouldn't be that gap. But you can get drafts through these, so it's worth remembering that when setting them up. Um, just trying to be clear there that there's these don't zip to the tent. They peg on as normal at the top of the poles and hook out. They've got some big rubbers there, five on each side. So they hook out. The canvas on this tent is extremely good, but the lepilar, you get these segments, you can see the stitching there. You get these nice sort of sunburst segments of fabric, which they also did on the later Zilver Muse and Albatrosses. One or two, there's a few sap marks in here. There's a spot of something right down at the edge there. It's very good canvas, a few light marks there. Just around the back, I noticed a few sap spots that have been brushed off there and they leave a little yellow spot, which is completely not a problem in terms of waterproofing. So people don't generally try to do anything with those. They leave well alone. Um, again, all nice clean canvas here. There's the badge there by which we check the date of these things and back to the other wing. And then we've got the usual square canopy on the top, all nicely tensioned out. The poles of this tent still had their original colour coding on. We normally do our own, but these have got it still there from the original. Somebody had taped over the, you've got the blue spot Devard put these coloured spots on and somebody taped over them all with, their, all with clear tape so they have survived red for the entrance. So we haven't had to bother doing that, which makes a change and it's nice and neat. So there we are, Devard Alepilar. Any questions, please ask. Thank you for watching.